Dear Carmel Marach, the emissary of the uh, Jewish Agency in Washington, D.C., thank you so much for taking the time to join us. You're in, in such a unique position at a unique time. The Druze woman uh, is an emissary at the Jewish Agency. You went from uh, being a groundbreaking uh, journalist to a politician. What brought about this particular opportunity? Were you approached? Did you approach the Jewish Agency? How did this come about to begin with? Because it's it's just such a very uh, unique opportunity that's been presented. Actually, when I uh, decided to take time out from politics, uh, when there was the formal announcement, I had many uh, job offers. And I asked myself, uh, what is next? Do I need to go to businesses, Gulf states? I had many offers, but I realized how much my country is important to me. I realized how much I want to still be connected. And I, I see myself as a bridge, Michael. I speak three languages. I totally understand the nuances. I speak Arabic, Hebrew, and English. I understand the Oriental culture, Arab people, and I also can understand the Jewish communities here and to speak with them uh, with my authenticity, with my unique identity, with my experience, with my knowledge as a woman, as a minority, as a periphery, as proud Israeli citizen. And this is amazing. Israel and those affiliated with it, Israel supporters, are so used to having their guard up and having to defend against the delegitimization efforts that come from all around the globe. You're, you're in this role to kind of um, not get away from that, but to, to make connections in, in places where maybe others that have been inside of the pro-Israel bubble can't. You're not a government agent. The Jewish agency is a quasi-government uh, agency. But, but still, you, do you feel like you're representing Israel? And if so, where do you draw that line between saying, hey, this is my country, I love it, but also, here, here are the flaws, let's talk about them. This is the beauty that we have in Jaffe. Everyone uh, bring his story with his authenticity, with his experience, with his identities. And believe me, it is amazing to see that um, we are strong in a way that we can absorb and share different stories and uh, different places and different people and different identity. Yes, we can do it. And uh, I think that sometimes it seems strange to some people. Some people were, were got used to bring this, I call it the Kim Jong-un absolute advocacy. Look, we are perfect. We are pink. We are gold. Please love us, care. And, it, is, it, it doesn't work anymore. People care, people listen, and people here want us to listen to them and want to share with us what they think and what they believe. We, it's important not just to bring the input from Israel, but to take back home the input, to listen and to be aware of the differences and to build the bridges and to create the trust. And if we are talking about trust, at the end of the day, any relationship that we have between us in parenthood, in, in, in family, with friends. It's about trust. It's, a, it's about being honest to provide the whole levels. Dear Kamal Marek, the Jewish Agency Emissary in Washington, D.C., thank you so much. It's a fascinating position at an incredible point in time. We appreciate it. We'll be keeping tabs on you, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up again soon. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you.